welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be discussing about a blue screen problem that comes on your windows 10 and 11 that says a startup repair couldn't repair your pc so probably you are trying to repair your pc and then you got this kind of error message and even many people they keep getting this kind of blue screen error on their computer so i will be covering the entire solution so make sure that you do not skip any of the part any of the step and apply them all so let's quickly get started now here in the startup repair screen only you will have to click on advanced options then you have to click on troubleshoot again click on advanced options and here you'll find the command prompt click on it the black window will be up now here you will have to run few command and all these command you will be getting in the description so the first command will be sfc space forward slash scan now hit the enter key now this command will take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been 100 percent completed so the command is completed now and it says windows resource protection found corrupt file and successfully repaired them so there was some problem but the good news is that they have been fixed all right so now the next command will be dism space or slash online space for a slash cleanup dash image space for a slash restore health now don't worry about the command all this command you have to copy and paste from the description hit the enter key again okay i got an error message but on your end this command will be running so wait until this command is also 100 percent completed and once it will be done the next command will be boot rec space for a slash fix mbr again hit the enter key it will say the command completed successfully now the next one will be boot rec space for a slash fix boot again hit the enter key in case if you get access is denied no problem you can move with the next command and the next one will be boot rec space for a slash rebuild bcd hit the enter key again and this will also say the command completed successfully and now we are remaining with the final command so that will be chk dsk space for a slash f space and then you have to type your drive letter on which your operating system has been installed so on my end it's c drive so I will type C colon and again hit the enter key. Now this will be checking the disk for any kind of problem. So again we will have to wait here until it's all been completed. And once the command is completed, you will have to type exit, hit the enter key and you will come to the advanced options. Now this time click on continue and check back if the problem has been fixed and in case it's still if you have the issues then again you will have to come to the same page click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and this time click on startup settings click on restart and now here we have to disable early launch anti-malware driver okay so just use your up and down arrow keys Come to disable early launch anti-malware driver hit the enter key and again let the computer load up and see if the problem has been fixed or not all right so on my end it seems to be working but probably if you still have the issues then again you will have to go to the advanced options and here again click on troubleshoot click on advanced options click on startup settings click on restart and this time from here in the list you have to choose disable automatic restart on system failure so hit the enter key again the computer will restart and this time also you can check if the problem has been fixed or not but in case if all these method doesn't work then again you will have to come to the same option here and choose safe mode that is the very first option and hit the enter key so now the computer will be coming up in the safe mode where we can uninstall the latest installed application or the latest windows update 
So once you see the login screen, type your password or pin. And now we are in the safe mode. So once you come up here, you have to click on your Windows search. Type control from the suggestion. Click on control panel. And then click on programs and features. Now here you have to look for any recent installed application that you have installed. And you feel that after installing that application only you are having this kind of problem. Even you can look by the date wise. So you can click here and look the application according to the date wise. Try to uninstall the application that you have recently installed. And once you are done from the left in menu option only click on view installed update. Now this will show you the recent windows update that has been made on your computer. Whichever is the recent one. You have to click on uninstall, click uninstall again, and then try to restart the computer. I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. Then again, you will have to come to the advanced options. This time, click on troubleshoot again, advanced options. And here you will find an option that says system restore. So click on it. And if you have created any kind of restore point, it will be displayed over here. So choose the date when your computer was working fine, select it, then you have to click on next and let the computer get restored to that previous date when the computer was working fine. So this is the last solution in case if none of the solution work for you and just let me know in the comment section which method work for you and in case if you still have the problem then also let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.